announcement that I can't wait to see. The future is bright. You're, this, as I mentioned, we're, we're uh, pairing up with the Autism Society of America to bring this important show. And I know from having introduced you to some people the other day that the first question out of everybody's mouth was, mm -hmm. so what is your connection to autism? And what I think, you know, before you even answer that, what I think is amazing about you is that I, I think there's an expectation that if somebody's going to put in this level of time and this level of interest that they must have a child that's on the autism spectrum. And you're going to speak to the fact that that is not your case. Right. But I was so excited to hear from you that you have seen a need in our community and that you have stepped up to the plate as somebody who has seen that need and doesn't have a child. I have so much respect for the fact that, you know, I have seen the tenacity that you yeah. are bringing to this and saying, I'm all in, I want to be helpful. I just want to thank you thank and you. say, if we could clone that and make, you know, because we need to have more people who are not parents devote themselves with the way that you have taken to this and said, I want to be here, I want to be a part of this, I want to help. I, like, I'm a little bit overwhelmed emotionally about it. I think it's amazing. You know, my grand I was close to my grandparents, mm -hmm. and my, my grandparents in particular, and my mother, they're very philanthropic people, mm -hmm. and they instilled in me when I was young that it's as important, I mean, you have to be grateful for what you have, but it's so important to give back mm -hmm. and to find causes that are close to your heart for whatever reason, mm -hmm. not necessarily that your, let's say, family member had cancer, and so that's your chosen cause, and for those who are involved like that, that's great, yeah. I, I applaud them. But if there's a cause that strikes a chord with you for whatever the reason is, then you should get involved. And the only way that you really feed your soul and others is by your life is measured by what you give back and what you put out there. And so it's not about what you collect. You collect memories and relationships and closeness with others. You know, money comes and goes and life is quicker than a flash of an eye. And so if, if I can give something to this cause and use whatever little notoriety I may have gotten from The Apprentice, so be it. And when you say I don't have a connection because I'm not a parent, I'm not a parent of an autistic child. I don't have a direct brother or sister or sibling that has autism, but I have worked with people who have autistic children mm -hmm. in work environments in the past. My best friend has a PhD and she opened a regional center and I came to learn that two thirds of her kids have autism. Yeah. And so the more I opened my eyes to this, the more I realized that I've been touched by people with autism or people with people with autism mm -hmm. in their families. And what I realized is that you're a parent of an autistic child mm -hmm. and so you're directly related to it and you live it every single day. But I don't, and so maybe I bring a different perspective, yes. and maybe I can help in a way that you're not, you know, yes, seeing. Exactly. And you have groups of professionals, and they're doctors, and they live it, and they've been educated in a way that breeds them for giving advice, and so they're directed toward that. Maybe I can bring just the perspective of a listening ear, mm -hmm. or open arms, or that extra person to come in and just help. Yeah. Just be open to something new. I think it's amazing, Stephanie. I think that you're going to bring a really fresh perspective. Thank you. I think that it's going to be something really helpful to our community. Um, I love that we're doing this in conjunction with the Autism Society of America and I showcasing do. the great work that, that they're doing.